Hello everyone and welcome back to Dishonored. This is episode 10. Last time we went to Dunwall Tower and we exposed the Lord Regent for his crimes. He uh, made the great choice to record his confession on an audiograph and we have played it to everyone and he's out of here. Uh, we had a very chaotic escape only to have an uneasy celebration that just felt strange. And there was a reason that it felt strange. We were poisoned. They were going to utilize us as a tool for their transition into power. Hey guys, we got the murderer and look at all of this stuff. Amazing. Now we're just going to move in, please. Cause we have got the, uh, the Empress to be as well. Everything's all good. Sam is the only real one. Maybe the servants as well probably wouldn't have been in on the really high level um, sort of confidential plan here. It was more of a Martin, Havelock and Pendleton scenario. Samuel gave us half the poison and has left us adrift in a ruined section of Dunwall. So we're in the flooded district. Time for us to move. So we read or we've heard about the flooded district in uh, books or uh, notes about, you know, the plague and the floodings that's taken place. So we find ourselves in a beautiful spot. Let's jump in and see what's next, because I almost thought that the game was over last episode, but it continues. This is the one who was with the Empress when she died. Poisoned. Tivian stuff. Amateur work. He'll live. That's up to doubt. Oh, okay. That's up to doubt, huh? Shit. I wonder if the outside is going to play a part in any of this, too whether he's just watching and waiting. Picked up by the ones that were all part of the plan to take the Empress out. when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shovel blade into your empress. But I don't know you, who you are, and who you fight for. You're a mystery, and I can't allow that. Oh. <laughs> Was not expected to get punched in the side of the head just then. Imagine like VR headset haptic feedback just push. <laughs> oh, it's happening finally. I've been waiting for uh, us to be back here. Okay. Woo. Betrayed by Havelock, Martin, and Pemberton, you were only saved at last moment by Samuel. Look at that face. So I guess that's Dowd. Oh, we don't even have. Oh, that's really strange. We don't even have any of our notes. How strange is that? No, all of our coins. I guess the coins don't even uh, have any value anymore, right? It's the Regent coins. Sorry, your coins no longer good here. You have to transfer them to uh, different coins. You have to transfer, transfer them to... Uh, to D-Bucks. Dishonored Dollars. Hmm. 
Here you are at last, in a ruined and drowning world, held captive by the man who killed your empress, the assassin Dowd. Your friends poisoned you and dumped your body in the river. Did they do it to protect themselves, so no one would ever know what they'd done? Or was it because they were a single move away from controlling an empire, and they knew you'd never let them manipulate Emily? Maybe none of these. Perhaps that's just the nature of man. Damn, okay. A very quick little chat with him. Nothing substantial, just... <laughs> nice predicament you're in, buddy. Enjoy that pit you've been dumped in. Amazing. I still have my mask. Okay. I'm at half health. I got some bricks and have left me for the rats. Wonderful. Betrayed. Betrayed. Um, yeah. Nothing. I just have bone charms. You've left me in here with these bricks. And that's your greatest mistake. You'll pay for this. On that I swear. Okay, maybe I should just keep lobbing bricks. I'm not ready to get out. God damn it. I think that hole's big enough. Alright, imprisonment. You cannot contain me. Oh, damn. Hello. Yummy. So I've got no gear. It was thrown away. A bounty ledger. Kroonigan eliminated. Salad, location unknown. Elizabeth, abducted. Booth, eliminated. Unknown masked man, revealed to be Corvo. Slackjaw, location unknown. And Corvo in custody, to be delivered. Alive. Are we being delivered back to that crew, or what? Our crew of friends that we had? Or delivered to someone else? I have an assassin's blade. Dowd, finding Corvo in possession of that mask could have been an elaborate frame job, but now the newly minted Lord Regent Havelock is announcing to all the city that he has proof linking Corvo to the masked felon. The bounty is 30,000 coins, but if Corvo truly is the masked felon and is responsible for all the things the wanted posters accuse him of, I expect the bounty to double. Because we have him alive, we should be able to barter for even more. Regarding Slackjaw, we watched him for a week, and when we were ready to make our move, he suddenly disappeared. Maybe he left the city. Rule for you. So, delivered to Lord Regent Havelock. And he's like... Let's put out the search for him because he got away. I wonder if Samuel is being punished for that or whether it's like an excusable mistake of he survived the poisoning, you know? Unbelievable. This makes me, this fuels me with a rage. <laughs> Do we go the, are we going to kill these other people that like set us up and betrayed us? Or should we also non-lethal them? I don't know. I feel angry. I feel like I have a taste for vengeance. I honestly, just a genuine sense of betrayal that I was like, these guys were kind of assholes, but they were my family. And they stabbed me in the back. This is the musical device that the overseer had strapped to his chest. While it was functioning, we were unable to perform transversals or tetherings. I suggest we all get a good look at it. So Dowd's assassins are all followers of the outsider, I assume. They all have the the same, uh, similar abilities. Oh, I love this music. Ah, uh, yes, the classic, gotta find your gear. So, I still have the heart, which is kind of, cur I'm kind of curious about that, is... All of our gear was taken, but why not the heart, you know? 
What if the heart can only be perceived by me? And that, uh, so as a result, it can't be like removed from my person or something. All right, well, we can possess a fish and go through there. I'm gonna die though. These fish, these fish, they be doing damage. All right, uh, we could possess a fish and go through there. That's a potential way out. When the sea all broke, many strange things were drowned and forgotten. They bring the bodies here with rough hands, rough head, the cages. Some of them are still breathing. The water is so cold, and it's the last thing they feel. Oh! <laughs> Hi, people. There's, there's, there's people there. Just, just so you know. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> one kill one death I feel like this is an interesting moment for a personality shift for Corvo right he's been playing it mostly safe he's been killing like as less people as possible. Not trying to cause chaos in the streets. He actually has tried to, you know, see how things can be resolved in a different way. But then, he gets betrayed by the only ones that he thought he could trust. Emily taken away from him again. And I feel that there is a part of Corvo that doesn't mind getting his hands just a little bit dirty as a result of it, you know? If there was ever to be a point where you would maybe do something like that, this feels like that would be, this would be the time. Not a murder spree, but you know, just a little more lenient. Ronaldo, do the job as you were told and do not question my planning again. Yes, the women who meet in the ruins of the Brigmoor Manor possess abilities like our own, and they use poisons administered by Dart, but just as you share my ability to blink across space through the transversal trick, you also inherit my resistance to some toxins. As I told you when you first joined us, it is another of my gifts that whoever serves me loyally shares in some of my power. This may or may not aid you against their poisons. The leader of the Brigmoor, which must pay for her betrayal. If you succeed, your share will be enough to build a fine home in Circonus in your old age, assuming you live. Dowd. So, the blink ability through the transversal trick is how what they refer to it as. And the Brigmore witches also possess abilities as well. Alright, so what we could have done is possess a fish and just swim out this way. But then we wouldn't have been able to read that beautiful note. Um, the only problem with possessing a fish is um, eventually we're not going to be a fish anymore and they will want to eat us. So I'm just trying to look for where we should go in this little arrangement. Um, we're going to try and land in the water, but then we'll try not to stay in there for too long suffer the consequences. Yum, 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 yum. Also, I think my, my favorite part about this is obviously this used to be town streets, right? So the way that it's all sort of rent, the whole city is constructed is this used to be traversable. So it's all just a very interesting location down here that we can no longer walk these streets. Oh, look at those river crusts, though. Uh, 
Uh, we only have a blade, so we can try and open. Oh shit. All right. Um. Oh, that did not work. Come on. I need to be careful because of my... Um, because of... I have a limited amount of elixir and remedy. Can I loot the small one? Wait, well, let me loot the small one. Just this one left. Oh, the final one is going to be the most annoying to get to. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> the river crusts are mine! So we could get a chain up there to go to Dowd's base, but we want our gear first, don't we? That probably would have been easier if we grabbed our gear and we could use... Ooh. Oh! Or we could have looked around and maybe found three grenades that would have blown all of them up. <laughs> Perfect. I love that. It's all right. We used our blade. While those fools were too busy with their grenades, we were studying the blade. Oh, we got weepers too. All this whale oil. Oh, they're just, are they feasting on the whale oil? Up. Damn. Okay. They're just... Yeah, they be feasting on whale oil. Okay. Okay, this is just depressing as hell. Reeves Refinery to get our gear back. Okay. Jesus. 
this. This is Grim. Greaves Lighting Lightning Oil Company. And they've put it all the way up there, okay. Alright, it should be easy enough to get over this group. Dowd's base, we can go out that door there, it seems. This is optional too, which I think is pretty crazy. If you want to just hack it without your gear, you can. Finally manages log. The tank is marked batch B, coming from the warehouse slaughter yard, need to be connected to the deeper pipe row only. These barges contain blubber from juvenile whales and have to undergo a different refinement process to ensure the same level of potency. We need to get the tank as emptied and back out to the warehouse as fast as possible. Greaves Lightning Oil Company. Oh no, it is lighting. But it says lightning on the sign outside. Lighting Oil Company is on track for record profits this quarter, and I wanted to be the refinery that gets the credit for it, not these ass scratches at the whale house. Well, I guess if we're getting coin, there will be an opportunity to buy some stuff at some point. Steer control, okay. Fuck it, I will just blink. Sometimes I try to see how far I can get without blink. But then the game says, why don't you just blink, man? It's easier that way. Okay. Damn, okay. I need power. Remember to keep the stair in the up position at all times unless there's a shift change or an emergency. Failure to do so may result in damage to equipment and or loss of life. In the event of an actual emergency, main power will be shut off. Use the backup receptacle to your right to restore power to this control panel. Which is what we're going to do so the stairs can come down. I mean, we could probably just blink up there, but let's try and obtain some juice, shall we? Some more river crusts. Oh, a lot of river crusts. Um, shall we take advantage of this lovely thing that we have? All right, let's see how this works. Oh, actually, hang on. These. Rude. So rude. Oh man. Dude, the explosive radius on these grenades is shit! The explosive radius is terrible! Something ain't right there. There ain't no way. Something is not right there. 
doing that again, because what the fuck is that? There ain't no way. The way that, like, the grenade blows up right next to them, no damage is done. Uh, that's not, that's not right. You just know that it's supposed to blow up and it's not. So we're gonna, we're gonna sort that out. Or maybe I can just come back when I have my gun and my uh, crossbow and we can sort it out that way and then just shoot them. It's probably the easier way to do it. I would say... Whale oil leaking from everywhere there is. I need to find a canister and fill it up there. Okay. Oh, never mind. I can just order a receptacle. Hello. Dispense me a tank, please. Okay. Nice. Me thinking I'm going to have to like go on this like big journey. Meanwhile, it's like right outside. Okay. Okay. Stairs. That's so cool. Okay. Time to get our stuff. And then we'll come back and take care of all those river crusts for coin. Unless if we get all our stuff back, that also includes how much money we already have. Um, so. Twist of Fortune. Very rarely a potion gives you full mana. Okay. These wands are greedy. They will never give back what they have taken. Even in the terrible floods were not enough to wash away the songs of the moon. Oh, it's out on the ground, okay. What if getting out gear is just a test at this point? Because it's just been put in such an interesting location. It's like, congratulations, you've passed the test. You've got your gear. That shows you've got what it takes. <laughs> They just vanished. Hearing their abilities get used is so cool. Okay, so they've left. 
Tell your shift captain to assign a maintenance berk for every shift. The conduits keep shorting out up here. At least authorize us to put a whale oil canister in the backup receptacle next to the bridge to keep power flow steady. We grieves company for crying out loud. You think we're able to afford an extra one of our own oil tanks? Or if you need me to make it simple for you, with no power, the bridge stays up. If the bridge stays up, we can't access the refinery pit. No pit access, we don't do our jobs. Plain and simple. And guess what? The bridge is up. They will the, the deep, deep ones here, breathing, breathing in the rich stink of their enchanted flesh. Okay, on hunting whales. That is a new note. These new ships made by that Sokolov fellow make life easier than it was in my youth, I'll tell you what. It was. We were at the mercy of the winds. Nowadays, the engines get up at first whale sign. There ain't time enough to rouse the boys from their bunks before you're on the herd. We cull out the biggest bastard we can lay eyes on and the pilot drags out from the circling brutes. Them things groan and bellow across the water like they're calling to each other. Men below say you can feel it in the hull. But when the harpoons go in, the beast cannot make for deep water no more. Once it weeks from last blood, we launch the hook boat and put chains into the tail. Then the winches drag the bastard backward up the chute and into the rigging overhead. And the Greaves Whale House. In the early days, when the ship brought in the great dead whales, men would slaughter them and reduce their blubber to oil in massive vats on the banks of Renhaven. Small crews maintained their own vats, with workers specialising as fire tenders, slicers, gutmen, haulers, or strainers. Inevitably, once the demand went up, the business had moved in, wooing the best crews with promises of better pay and safer conditions. The warehouses went up at the edges of the Rudshaw Financial District almost overnight. None was more organised, or as some would say, more ruthless, than the Greaves Whale House, opened by Ebenezer Greaves himself. The Greaves Whale House grew rapidly, absorbing rivals until it dominated the trade. At its peak, the operation employed over 300 workers, not including the children who filled minor and often tragic roles. Those associated with the refinery were recognisable by their head-to-toe industrial leather uniforms and the masks they wore to protect against fumes. And harpooner songs. Okay. Now, should I sing the sea shanty properly this time? I don't know how this one's sung. But the other one... I sung just in a silly way because I think it's more entertaining that way. All right. I think it's the same, isn't it? We've sung that one before. My my throat's feeling a little feeling a little dry putting on all these voices. I think we can do without a song today. No song today. It's much more simple than you'd think. Okay, okay, all the way down to the bottom then. Oh, we're not alone here either, okay. Now this makes more sense why it's been dropped here. Whale vivisection. Did we not read this? I guess something similar ages ago. 
Remarkably, each specimen I had the pleasure of studying during the voyage possessed some minor variance in physiology. On the second leg of the trip, east of Tivia, the crew hauled aboard a female some 42 inches, some 42 feet in length. I feel like I read this and I said exactly the fucking same thing when I did 42 inches instead of 42 feet. <laughs> I estimate she weighed 35 tons and the ship sat low. Yeah, I think we've definitely read this. It's a new... It's a new note. Oh! God. Oh! Oh! The game did not like that. The game did not like me uh, doing that. Oh, I've been dropped into the goddamn... Oh god. Okay. Okay, hold on. Go to sleep. Wait, what the fuck? Whoa, wait a minute. Look at this guy. Hang on. This isn't just any average guy. Is this, um... This is that general guy? That we, that we knocked out? This is the general, is it? Is it not? I can't remember his last name, but it's the the red, the red coat. He's just become a weeper now. Oh, wait. Oh fuck! It's Campbell. Campbell's curse, because that's the brand. Oh shit. Yeah. Holy shit. Campbell became a weeper. So I thought because of the red, it might have been like that dude. And I was like, maybe in the power transition, he just got booted out and they, and everyone got like left out onto the streets and got the plague. But that's, that makes much more sense. Campbell's curse. Curse that fool here in Burroughs. Lord Regent, my lily white bottom. We almost had it all. Now I will wear the heretic's brand for the short remainder of my days. The heretic's brand of all things. I should have banned the ritual, but in truth I plan to use it against a few undesirables should the need arise. Perhaps even hear them. Now it's all lost. When I spy my own reflection in a puddle of filthy water, I see failure burned into my face. I am cast out. And now the plague is upon me. Already the fever grows, and my thoughts are as slippery as hagfish. It won't be long before I'm drooling and moaning and bleeding from the eyes. Last week I was sipping fine Tivian wines and enjoying the comforts rightly afforded to my position within the abbey. Today, I sleep in filth lost in this bleak and destroyed district. If my mind is going to rot away, then let these be my last words, the final coherent thoughts of Thaddeus Campbell, a great man, a voracious lover of life in all its flavors and odors, and once high overseer in the great capital city of Dunwall itself. From the blackness of the void, I fling curses upon the head of Corvo Etano. It was he who cost me everything I held dear. May flies nest in your eyes, Corvo, and may all your desires come to ruin as you have ruined mine. Thaddeus Campbell. Would death have been easier for this guy? But did he also deserve the heretic's brand? I wholeheartedly say yes. Um, ew. Um, so there you go. I guess if you just kill him instead, that obviously would not take place. Uh, we have all of our elixirs and we have our health. And we've got our bullets and our sleep darts and everything. And we have our money back. I don't really have to waste time taking out river crusts. Does that mean I have all my books? Yeah, I've got all of my books back as well. How interesting that the like the notes as well are all taken away. Like it's that like uh, detailed in what we lose. Wow, okay. Got some whale oil down here too. The fact that with all of this said and done, right, he gets cast out, he's got the heretic brand, um, and the plague is upon him. He's going to, he's definitely going to die. He's going to become a weeper. And I think the crazy part of that to me is this guy had no remorse. Absolutely zero remorse for his actions. He was like just super mad that he couldn't continue like... He, he was just Superman, that they, they couldn't 
uh, go and take advantage of the people and the overseers and continue, like, disrespecting the rules. Like, that dude just did not care. There was no, like, I've, I've wronged people and, you know, I've, I've, I've done a bad thing and I wish that I had done things differently and maybe I regret, you know, being a part of all this. But no, the dude's just like, fuck you, Corvo, you scumbag. Which is pretty crazy. Now, I'm not sure if we can blink to a chain. I haven't tried it before, so it's kind of, the idea of it is stressful. Oh. oh, there we go. All right, we'll climb out of the, we'll climb out of this pit. We have our stuff. Now we can go to Dowd's place. Okay, so it makes sense where our stuff is now. Like we were taken to this place, and then that's when the scene took place where, um our stuff was thrown off the edge. So I thought, um, for some reason, I thought only our blade was tossed away. I don't know. Like, I, th my brain doesn't take in all of the information. I, uh, I was like, for dramatic effect, I thought he was just tossing away our blade in the scene, but then like our belongings were held onto and maybe stashed somewhere because we had a lot of valuables. So I didn't expect that they would just toss 6,000 coins in the bin. Um, I thought they would hold on to some of my things, but it makes sense that they um, they just got rid of everything and just threw it over. Now, uh, there is a rune to get down this way. Now, if we play our cards right, we should be able to break our fall here. But just in case, I'll make my first main save here. That didn't work. Okay. <laughs> this is why we saved beforehand. I think you can actually do it, but we're gonna, hang on. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe if we blink, not like straight down, but we blink up in the air. Hold on. Oh no, that was it. There you go. Did you see that? We were like, we blinked to a destination in the air, but we still like hit like a death threshold, it looks like. So the only way to save us is if we possess uh, a creature instead, but I can't, I can't see, we would need to like, I would need to see a fish or a rat and then accurately get it from here. Or of course we could just like, you know, climb down the chain, but that's like so not hardcore. You could do that and almost die. See, isn't that just so much cooler? It, that chain doesn't even go the whole way, see? Lovely. Okay. One out of five runes found. So we have one rune only. But the only one in this area. Alright, let's take these out. actually worked okay look at that that one actually worked in the in the water to take them all out would you believe me unbelievable he says all right we've got enough money so we can just get out of here it's time to go to Dowd's base
Is that a note actually to read? Nope. It looks like a, there was like a reflection where it like looks like it could be a note to read. Not the case. I wonder where we can find the key to get in there, but we can just go up and up and over instead. We don't need to do that. Oh, Overseer's dead outside. Oh shit. That was a fresh one. Overseer's warning. The assassins sprung their trap as we tried to cross the narrow bridge. At that choke point, they were able to pick us off one by one. We thought we could draw them inside where our greater numbers could make more of a difference, but it didn't matter. Now I'm the only one left alive, and I feel that slipping from me minute by minute. Please, if a second group attempts to come through this way, beware of that bridge. They are listening for the sound of the door opening. Keep an eye on the rooftops. Even a small number of them is more than a match. It's so crazy that there was a second opportunity to kill um, the previous High Overseer, huh? Rudshaw Waterfront, upper level. In we go. Yeah, so they were they're waiting for the for the door. When the seal broke, many strange things were drowned and forgotten. Oh, I just realized we should have used the heart on on the overseer. That would have been a smart move. <laughs> I think I'm about to get attacked by river crusts. Orders from High Overseer Campbell. I bid you safety and courage on your expedition. The assassin Dowd and his cultist followers are commonly known as the Whalers due to the oil worker masks they wear. Beware, for Dowd may possess power and resistance beyond expectation. Tread with extreme caution. Their infamy is well earned. They are based inside the Chamber of Commerce, building in the ruins of Central Rudshaw. All roads to this area have been blocked, with the exception of the elevated rails. Find the rail station in the Rudshaw Market. March carefully. For the cultists undoubtedly employ spies to watch the route. Can't say I expected instant death to occur though. <laughs> Jesus. Um, yes, instant death was not a prediction here. How many river crusts are down here? Okay, only a few, but that's enough to get absolutely decimated, apparently. Oh, there's more, okay. There's also more there, gotcha. Now that's that's a proper river crust detonation right there. There you go. That's how that's how you do it, baby. I got my crossbow bolt back. Now they were blown very far and wide. Takes care of that problem. A lot of grenades. And it did them not a lot of good, let me tell you. 
see, I'm really interested in, uh, I wonder what happened with Sokolov. And something that's really interesting is you could have like opened that thing for Sokolov. I wonder if like that would have let him escape. But then at the same time, like there was, uh, they probably, they might've just offed him in the same way that they were ready to off us. They might've just given Sokolov a drink, off he goes. Um, especially the fact that Piero was the one to, we bought it from him specifically. It's kind of interesting. And then there's also the fact here, have this key just in case something happens. You can go to this old apartment. And it was kind of interesting because that gave me this thought in my mind that I was expecting maybe um, like the Lord Regent or overseers or stuff to descend upon our hideout. We'd have to like escape or run away. But it was like a red herring, you know? Out of order, mate. So they're listening for the door, is what they were saying. So they're definitely hearing this right now, aren't they? Yep. They're like, who's doing that? Sleep tight, princess. Oh, you bloody, you bloody joking. Okay. Go down, we here. Oh, we're back down. Oh. I'm back here. Oh. Love seeing how that all connects. I'm back here. Gotcha. So I think I might have missed the bone charm. out of eight dude sustained rage adrenaline takes longer to cool down so this might be a relatively lengthy mission if there's only two out of eight and our runes one out of five everyone was looking for someone to blame for what happened as the waters rose day by day and one of those business owners had to give up their shops to ankle high muck and river crusts started growing as far back as thresh street truth is wasn't some plot to wipe the ever prosperous Rudshaw off Dunwall's maps. It was laziness and stupidity. The barriers keeping the rising river waters out hadn't been maintained in at least a decade, and once one leak started, the whole thing gave out. The city was so tied up fighting the plague, no one lifted a finger to salvage the place. It's been a year now, living in a place the regent's forgotten about has its perks. Does it have its perks? Does it really? Look at these perks. So good. Yum, 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 yum. Crusty fucking alleyway bread. Mmm. Weeper bread. All right, we got that charm. I want to get there. Oh, shit. Hello. Oh, that's the... that must be that specific... Oh, no! I meant to carry him. He's definitely dead. He, he's, uh, he's there. Most certainly. Definitely dead. Okay, um, fuck. So, that must have been that key for that door that we were like... 
Where's that bloody key then? There's our answer. So an assassin was just chilling on the top. Always been dealt with. We got a weeper over here. When the seam all broke, many strange deaths were drowned and forgotten. painting the commutative rats and the weeper nice all right got me a bloody painting lads i love how this is one of the most rewarding games that has a God. This is one of, the, one of the most rewarding games that has a look up mentality. Okay, this is how you get across to Dowd's base. So we were going through there. Now we've got one up on them being up here. You don't know like where they're gonna end up. It's quite like spooky actually. Ah, uh, another opportunity to get that same key. that to turn around. Oh no, I've got the rail. That's the key, actually. That was the correct key to the rail line station. There's a different key than the one I thought. It's good for me. How many opportunities to get this one key, I wonder? <laughs> many. Make sure you don't fall off. This dude is just looking one way and the other way. Let me grab him. All right, I've got a bloody key ring at this point. In we go, baby. Central Rudshore. To the base. Hey, used mate, Central Rudshaw. Let's have a look. Damn, the fact that we're only seeing one rune and wound, one bone charm per area uh, says a lot. This is a total of eight bone charms in this mission and uh, five runes. So, quite extensive. <gasps> ah, small scale combustion refinement. Okay. Weapon courier's message. Corwin, imagine the firepower of a tall boy, but at the speed and ease of concealment of a pistol. With this new technology, any soldier with a steady gun arm will be a force to be reckoned with. Make sure it gets to the Lord Regent without delay. Loxley. Interesting. Um... 
Um, so there's definitely going to be a merchant and upgrade thing at some point with this. It's just a matter of figuring out how. Like, is it going to be Griff from the... Is it going to be Piero somehow, for some reason? Is it going to be a new merchant? I would assume it would be maybe a new merchant. Just like how you can help out that uh, Griff dude and then he's like, What do you want? Might be something like that. What a shot. It's like one of those shots where you just want to like, um, turn off the HUD if possible. You like, just turn everything off. There should be just like a full HUD that you can just turn off. Um, just turn that off. Turn that off, turn that off, turn that off. <laughs> You just turn it all off for a second. Just, just for a second. Just so you can have a look and go and appreciate it. Hot off and you're like, that is a uh, beautiful looking building. And there's some assassins. For maximum immersion, guys, we play a uh, complete hot off. I actually don't mind it. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Looking at the HUD off makes me wish that we kind of just, like, had it off the whole time. Ooh, you could even turn off what the heart finds and go off of, like, the the icon. That's really cool. Damn, I'm, I'm kind of regretting not doing that. I feel like it would be so much cooler if we did it that way. Just go full immersion... You gotta find the the things yourself doing it that way. Oh well. You live and you learn. And then you've gotta like listen for audio cues more of when your mana is restoring after blinking and like stuff like that. I assume there's probably still, like, the decent aim with, um, your crossbow, but... You know what? Like, the fact that Corvo is wearing his mask, but, like, doesn't think to, like, you know, dress up and infiltrate as a, uh, one of them, like, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, hello, it's me, the Whaler. I've just got to go and see uh, Dowd for a quick second. This is reminding me, turning the HUD off is reminding me of my Metro series playthrough. We did uh, the, the Metro trilogy in hardcore mode and had as much of the HUD turned off as possible. So good. It was very, very rewarding in that sense and felt really uh, amazing. And this just immediately reminds me of that. I gotta say, I'm loving the voice work on the, uh, on these whalers. Oi, that's actually outside. The four hands we rescued from the overseas are making great, oh, four hounds we rescued from the overseas are making great progress. I'm confident that with continued care and proper feeding, the training that they received at the hands of the zealots will fade and they'll begin to behave more to our liking. I might have to just put him to sleep. Um, also, what I might do, just for my own sanity, uh, is I will put on objective pop-ups. I don't think there'll even be a tutorial thing anymore, but we'll keep that on. Um, I don't even know what focus highlight is. 
are the player stances, whether we're stealthed or not. Wait, objective markers. What did I put on? Objective pop-ups. Oh. Yeah. I'll do keep that on and objective markers. Um and awareness I like. I'm I'm fine with that. Let's chalk up the awareness markers to like the, the outsider's power, and you're like, well, I can see their awareness. Um, show heart markers. Oh yes, that's finding the items. I'll just keep that on as well at this point. Um, and then the crosshair really doesn't even matter, I would say. You can kind of tell when you're low health or low mana, so getting rid of those bars is, is, is fine. Oh, you're getting up. Okay. Oh, there's a... There's a little rat opportunity, actually. Hold on. We can go through that hole. I can hear the rats, but I can't see the rats. I will dark vision for said rats. Oh, and... Oh, hang on. One right here. Oh, actually, this is going to be useless, isn't it? Because rats can't jump, I don't think. I need a rat on the ground. I can possess the dog, but fat load of good that's going to do. Oh, wait. Hang on. I need to be over there. Oh. 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 Wow, dude. The outsider's work is crazy. <laughs> These dogs, dude, they'd be out of control. <laughs> He's too powerful. All right. Um, the poor boy. I feel like it'll be a waste of a thing, but. Right. Let the dog continue glitching. Okay, the entry is here. Hello? Alright, I'm going in. Oh shit. Dowd's key needed. Who needs Dowd's key when you've got whatever I've just done? I'm in. Oh, wait. How did that... Oh, interesting. Can I get back out? I'll just wait for this guy to turn around. I haven't trapped myself in this room, have I? Oh, no, you're supposed to turn around. So we could go down here, too. I didn't realize there would be another one that's so annoying. Damn it. A painting, eh? Hopefully they'll relax. Is that the torturer? It doesn't give me the pop-up, but I'm pretty sure that would have been the torturer. Um, I'll change that because that's a good, that's actually a good thing for me, uh, lore wise. I'm assuming that's the pickup log. I'll keep that actually. Letter to the director. So that's it. We're closing down after all these years, after we just unveiled a new statue of Jessamine Coldwin, a broken wall and some rising water, and we're just going to abandon the building and split up our offices in the lesser districts? Are you insane? Has your brain turned to plague rats? Have you been drinking the outsider's piss? Any of these explanations I would accept sooner than relocation assignments we all found at our desks this morning. If this is truly how you plan to operate as our director, then no, I will not accept my relocation orders. Consider this my resignation. Percival Cox, former deputy chairman. I 
I've got a rune. So we have two runes. I can upgrade my dark vision. Um, which I might do. It's really interesting that they've got like build up adrenaline and then trigger brutal melee fatalities. But it would be cool if you could have like one that was build up adrenaline and then do non-lethal takedowns. Because then in combat you could like mess with them. And there isn't a um, there isn't a non-lethal assass air assassination either. It's just like drop down on them and kill them. <laughs> Why can't I drop down on them and not kill them? I feel like I want to take a rat into... Ooh, okay. I need Dowd's key for this too, okay. So this is a potential way out, actually. I'm doing things in a very interesting order right now, it seems. Um, there you go. I wanted, I wanted to take a rat through that little hole. Dude, what can I do about that? Will he turn around or is it, am I just screwed? It'll just stay there forever. I just screwed it. I guess I could shoot him from here, maybe. I'd have to be quick. What I could do is... shouldn't need to even waste this arrow on him. Ooh. Even that's a Dowd's key. Everything is Dowd's key. Hmm. Really need a really need this dude's key. He's gonna just sit his butt here for a while. And then maybe we're gonna grab him after. Just gonna be patient. Just gotta be patient. Come on, mate. Any day now. Thank you. That's risky. That's the risk we take for not even checking with dark vision. <laughs> You're like, uh, I hope there's no one else just standing in here, but we took out the other one, so I kind of assumed it was safe there. A little bit reckless. For your next trial, you must move unseen. Stay in shadow and avoid the light. Cross to the other side of the room without attracting notice. Showing us the path. It's a very dark in here. We can possess a rat at this point. Very good. I did not see you approach. Now, attempt a transversal. Do not focus on your destination with your eyes. That is folly and will limit the potential of the power. You know the layout of the room. Instead, focus on where you wish to be standing. Oh, yes. 
Hoping that the rat might have given me a different way out, but it was kind of pointless. I wasted my time there. Spot of training from him. There you go. Oh, that's where we're going out from there. Okay. That's our way out. That's right under that's like kind of just underneath us. If I want to see what my elixir and my health is, I just do that. It's easier. This is cool. So we got to steal his key, but the optional and assassin's revenge, exact your revenge on Dowd, blood for blood, or send Dowd a message, steal the pouch from his belt, then leave him unarmed. I think that's cool. Um, he killed my woman, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little generous today. I feel as though my rage is directed more at my betrayers, more than a man who was hired to do a job, you know? Nothing personal. As much as he's the one who did the deed. Now, I need to find a way in. Well, actually, the way in might literally... Oh, damn, he's going that way. Oh, there's an audiograph player there as well. Okay, well, I don't have to listen to that because I've already listened to it. But there's books there too. I guess I can I can freeze time. I could freeze time. Oh. I don't know why I was expecting this door to be locked. 
really was just expecting this door to be locked. Interesting. This changes things dramatically. Just before we do that. a map on the floor like that. Oh, you had all the windows open as well. Jesus Christ, guys. You are... This, this, this group, man. Like, they're an interesting bunch. Not very secure. They're like, he's breached the defenses. I mean, fuck, there's no roof on the building, so it, it's it was never going to be secu secure, was it? Dowd's log, the latest log entry. 18 years on this wretched rock in this city of filth. I felt the blood of scholars of noble pedophiles, of guildsmen, of unfaithful lovers, of politicians who were just far too just for their own good, and of law enforcers who came too close to bringing the wrong man to justice. Why should an empress be any different? Why should I feel the entire weight of this dying city crushing down on my back? Corvo, Lord Protector, is of Sokonos, just as I once was. I might have known that fact already, but it didn't matter until I recognized it in his face. It brought back distant memories of home, and the optimistic young man I once was. What would I find if I went back there? What would I find? Would I find that it is rotted from the inside, just like Donwall? Or will it only appear that way because I'm the one who's rotted? Wow. The Royal Protector. Throughout the ages, rulers have always faced attempts on their lives. Is that new? I think that's new. Yeah. Once in a generation, the Empire is rocked by the death of a powerful political or religious figure. As such, city-states across the Isles have devised varying strategies for protecting their leaders. In the capital city of Dunwall, each new Emperor is allowed to appoint a royal protector. This is far more than a trusted bodyguard, much more revered than the hand-chosen guards defending Dunwall Tower or the food tasters. The royal protector is a court figure given enormous latitude who keeps constant company with the highest ruler in the known world. At the age of 12, the young monarch participates in the selection process, making the final decision about who will safeguard his or her life. While most of those chosen as royal protector have been men, several times throughout history, a woman has served in the role. For the first time in Dunwall's history, a monarch has been slain by her own bodyguard. At the time of this writing, with Dunwall in the grip of the worst plague ever recorded, our fair Empress Jessamine Coldwin has just been murdered. The deed was done by her former royal protector turned assassin, Corvo Atano, who is still sitting in Coldridge Prison awaiting his deserved execution. Some argue that it is worth noting that Corvo Atano is the first royal protector in the history of the Empire born outside of the Isle of Gristal which is actually really, really interesting with that in mind, because I think that only then fuels like this sort of divide between all these locations that it's like the first Lord Protector that's not a, a Dunwallian, whatever their fucking name is, uh, murders the Empress. And then they, like they start directing like hate towards that group of people because that's just how it works, which is really annoying because it just happens in reality all the time. Um, and what's really interesting that I'm thinking of here is I'm not sure how old Corvo is. Like, I would assume that maybe we're in our 20s, maybe we're in our 30s. And it says here that at the age of 12, the young monarch participates in the selection process. Um, so I'm not sure if that history was the same. Like, did the Empress choose Corvo? Um at age 12 um are they around the same age is there a weirdness there if corvo was like already an adult and chosen as the royal protector and then they had a bit of a relationship it feels like a conflict of interest i don't even know if i can really google the age of my character just because i don't want to accidentally like spoil myself but um that's what I think of. I'm like, how old is Corvo? <laughs> how old am I? I mean, it might have even addressed it. Um, okay. For the sake of my sanity, when there are multiple books in the same thing, and I need to know what I'm actually targeting. Um, I need show interactions to be on as well. So I can actually see this shit. 
Now, we've read the Royal Protector, we've read the Lighthouse before, so we'll read um, the Rudshaw Chamber of Commerce. Once the financial heart of the Empire, the Rudshaw Financial District was a hive of trade activity. No district employed more barristers, accountants, or indeed more security, and no part of Dunwall saw a greater flow of coin. When the flood barriers broke, the waters rolled in. The looting that followed was accompanied by an epic period of chaos and butchery. Those who could withdraw and move their assets did what they could. Others, with their wealth tied up in the grand mansions and artwork, lost it all. When the last of the High Society set had withdrawn and the lights went dark, Rudshaw was a gloomy, crumbling shell of what it had been, inhabited by thieves, wild dogs, and rats. Once great palaces of commerce sat empty or haunted, but came to house killers and mercenaries, as well as anyone else looking to hide from the city watch. In mere months, the flooded district was settled upon as the most proper name for the place. So this looks to be, ugh, I don't even know if this is really our way out, but uh, we'll deal with this first. I need this guy to like turn around that way. Or I can just blink behind him, actually. But it gets it gets really weird there, doesn't it? It's a bone charm. Nice truck. He's immune to stop time. Between Corvo and me. <laughs> he's immune to stop time. <laughs> of course he is, because he's got like the abilities. Fuck that. <laughs> Woo! That surprised me. Um. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Um. I what I like about that is you can't game the system there and go. We we'll just pause time and get in there. Uh. He's more powerful than that. I would like to successfully do it non-lethally. We would have actually succeeded. The only issue there is I wanted to get the lore as a bonus too. I wanted to also get the stuff. <laughs> I wanted to read the books that are there because I don't know what they are. Um, so I love that he's immune to the... Um, Stopping time. I think that's really clever. Um, okay, let me just grab these. Just so I can have these uh, in my inventory. And the game says, you read these things. Um, and then we'll save over that. Okay. Uh, so let's go with our plan again. You'll read a book. Oh, oopsie. Oopsie. Ooh, interesting. Um, got myself caught, but only by that one. And then it looks like that they settled back down and doubt is none the wiser. So we're going to observe his movements now, so... Oh! Oh no, he can just do that at any time. How long is he going to do that for? 
fuck, how long is he gonna be gone for? I didn't realize that he could just pop out like that. He's just gonna, oh, I'll just go for a walk for a bit. Shit. All right, excerpt on a, from a book on the late Empress. Many of those who lived through her reign will weep until the ends of their lives over the pale beauty with the piercing eyes and the foul end she met at the hands of her own twisted servant and protector. In her father's day, the cold ones were thrust into the limelight despite their distance to the throne. When the former dynasty provided no heirs, a prosperous age followed the emperor, but his daughter would have a different luck. During her short life, political intrigue and minor conflicts created cracks in the empire, undermining unity across the aisles. The Rat Plague, however, was a terror for which neither Empress Coldwood nor any other living being was prepared, and I think we've read that before. But the eradication of Black Sally, I don't think we've read this one before. A popular story of crime and daring. Before Slackjaw ran the streets in the distillery district, there was no boss more ruthless, violent, or dedicated to squeezing the average citizens for coin than Black Sally. Like so many from Morley, she was pale-skinned and green-eyed, with hair as black as the void. They say that she started young, and as a girl, she'd stun a man with her looks, coming upon him in an alley, then the smile a one-sided smile, and suddenly run him through with a knife. She'd have his money and be on her way before he breathed his final breath. As a boss, she was worse, ruling over the meanest street gang Dunwall had seen up to that time. Her operation touched everything from shipping to prostitution. She even had a racket going with the Baker's Guild, a finger in every pie indeed. One man, Watch Captain Jules Rubin, made it his mission to stop her and kept the case going for half a decade. Black Sally met her end when Rubin and his men light smoke fires in barrels near the warehouse where she hid out during the day. As she and her gang rushed into the streets, terrified the building was burning, Captain Robin and his top officers threw nets over them and ran them all through with blade and pistol shot. He literally just, like, wrote his own story of him being the hero. Good job, Jules. So you've lost it all. And now we fight the duel that no two others could fight against the ticking of the clock. Whoa, that's cool. He just stopped time, like, mega stopping time. This is between Corvo and my me. Master. No, it's not. They're attacking me. Let's see if the outsiders will save your life. Oh, because it stops all of my movements, doesn't it? It stops all of my things. They bring, they bring the bodies, bodies here. Why are you fighting with rough hands? Rough hands. Were the men who poisoned you and left you to Some die? Of them are still breathing. Are your dead empress? So cold. Go on. And Strike as if you mean it. You know I killed her. Wow, this is so cool. We're of the same breed, you and I. We kill for others. You think I'm your enemy? I've never lied. You've got to strike fast. Dowd Killer of the Empress. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, well, we've witnessed... Um, we've witnessed... Like, an actual event of what happens if you get caught, which is really fucking cool. Seeing him, like, freeze time like that and, like, have, like, a stop time duel that's so epic um like i said we i'm committed to fucking steal the thing from this guy because i think that's so much cooler um but i think that that's really really amazing um the thing with this stupid blink power that everyone else has is i don't know when he's gonna pop in again and it's this funny thing with my play style which is obviously we like reading and we like getting the lore and getting all of that uh and not missing those things because it's really fun to read and fun to listen to so it does break things in a little sense of immersion i think it's kind of really tough when you have a game that has a stealth approach, a lethal approach, and also a collector's approach of making sure you get the things as well. So it makes it doubly hard to do stealth for the first time when you're also trying to take in the lore. It's so much easier to just kill everyone and collect the stuff, right? Like that is the easiest way to do things. And I like the challenge of stealth, but I also don't want to miss out on the, the collectibles and the lore. So it does come at a cost, and that cost is sometimes repeating our actions um, to actually make sure we can get the things that we want to get. Um, even if sometimes that might mean just maybe just gung-ho, jump into an area, pick the stuff up, 
and then do it properly. Like we can do that as well. But let's try again. You can hide under here, at least. So there you go. We can send him a message. Steal the pouch from his belt, then leave him unharmed. So now it's just a matter of getting out of here. I would love to be able to look at the place. Again, it's so smart that, like, he can use... Uh, he has, like, the power to stop time as well. He does read that book for, like, quite a decent amount of time. Let's get some dialogue with the heart while we're here. In the schoolyard, the other children would marvel at his quick hands. One day, a man came for young Dao and led him away. Ooh, like, um... What is it? Like... That's like what we read about... Way back. Um... Like, the children that they would grab for, was it being an overseer or the high overseer? The Trials of Aptitude, the very first book. Once a child shows the proper inclination, he is marked. Overseers are assigned to study the subject surreptitiously in order to determine whether this inclination is supported by cosmological conditions and other signs ongoing throughout the year. So those befitting further testing are removed from their homes some hours before dawn and begin the march to an outpost outside the city Ritual preparation and evaluation, and they make a pilgrimage, and it's determined whether they'll become overseers or who will be put down. So it might have been a trial of aptitude for doubt, and maybe he failed, that's why he's not an overseer. Or, I don't know if the, uh, the outsider could appear and be like, hey, come with me, and then, you know, he starts getting these abilities and stuff. But interesting to think about. No. There is no turning back from the path he has chosen. Pay the assassin, doubt. The last thing that Empress felt was his blade. Again, tripping up on Empress. His hands do violence, but there is a different dream in his heart. Why have you brought me here? Am I meant to forgive this man for what he did? Ooh, that's, and there you go, that's blatant right there. In the schoolyard, the other children would marvel at his quick hands. One day, a man came for young Dao and led him away. That was super blatant. <laughs> no. Okay, there you go. There is no turning back from the path he's chosen. That was a brief little insight there, very nice. Bonded Galvani Weave. Okay, well, we got something. Okay, so we got an upgrade in that thing with his key. I think we've read the things. There is the opportunity to potentially... Um, interact with the audiograph. Like, we've heard what he has to say, but it could get added to our inventory at least. Dowd, I am satisfied. Corvo would have been very useful to me, but your improvisation was exemplary. Him taking the fall for the crime simplified matters greatly. I hope you are equally satisfied with the payment. I shall contact you again shortly for additional assignments. HB. There you go. Um, now, Dowd's key can also be used elsewhere. It can be used elsewhere. There's a couple of, like, containers and stuff. I don't know how useful that's going to be, but, you know. It's still something that we can do. I wonder if he can see our blinking. I wonder if he can... Uh, you're going to react to this? So you 
<laughs> Whoa, they actually do react to it. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, now that was, that was probably to be expected, but like, I wanted to see. That's really interesting. So um, if you do activate like a music player and audio graph, he's immediately like, what the fuck? I find that hilarious though. Which is kind of interesting that you can come back here and open some random containers here. Let's see what's in them. Okay, so just some more coins. Oh, and then a pocket watch. Okay, there you go. All right, so a personal item and some coins. Um, all right, we've done the non-lethal option. It's time to get to the to the tunnel entrance. It's time to get out of here. Okay, the Gatewood Tunnel. There it is. Okay. Perfect. Go to the Gatewood Tunnel. Okay. Job well done, almost. We don't have a Samuel. Tunnel exit. We don't have a Samuel with us. Target spared. But we do have a bone charm and another rune to get out here with the tunnel exit. So, like, there's still more to do here for sure. And there's more bone charms and runes. I think this level is much bigger than we expect, which is um, very, very intriguing indeed. Because I'm wondering how we're going to get back into the fray without Samuel. Maybe Samuel is keeping an eye on us. Who knows? Maybe he'll help us. Um, but. I feel like there will be a more unexpected path that will reveal itself. But alas, we'll be bringing this episode of Dishonored to a close, not f finishing this mission just quite yet, because it looks to be a long adventure. Uh, but thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Dishonored, and I'll see you next time.